We're gathered here this morning to commission this beautiful edifice constructed for the organization of the 13th African Games to be held in our country as well as to mark the 25th day countdown to the holding of the Games, arguably Africa's biggest sporting event. It has been a long journey for us, which has been characterized by difficulties and uncertainties following the unexpected effect of the COVID-19 pandemic on our infrastructure development plans and general preparations. However, we demonstrated commitment and resilience. And when all hope appeared lost, we came up with a brilliant idea of adopting a hybrid approach to hosting the game. That is, using facilities at the University of Ghana, which were under construction, as well as selected facilities we could develop on time here in Botema. Our, dec our decision to adopt the hybrid method has proven to be a wise one, as facilities, both at the University of Ghana and here in Botema, are ready for the hosting of the 13th edition of the Africa Games. Despite loud calls by some pessimists for our nation to withdraw from hosting the tournament, we remained resolute. And today, our country can be proud of the massive sporting infrastructure we have put in place for the Games, which will be a huge legacy for the country. Our nation is expecting some 5,000 elite athletes, some 3,000 experienced officials, and thousands of fans in the country, together with an estimated global audience of 2.2 billion people watching through traditional and social media. In its 57 years of existence, this is the first time that Ghana is hosting the games. Despite Ghana being under the leadership of our first president, Kwame Nkrumah, a founding member of the African games. The question is, why has Ghana not hosted the African games until now? The answer is simple. There is a time for everything, and this is our time. We are now ready and capable of organizing and hosting the rest of the continent here in Ghana. The people and government of Ghana are honored and grateful to the African Union for the opportunity to host the rest of Africa for the first time in our history. Ladies and gentlemen, the construction of these magnificent multi-purpose facilities at Bortima and the University of Ghana for the African Games clearly demonstrate the Akufuado government's commitment to the development of much needed sports infrastructure in Ghana. Over the last seven years, my government has renovated the Accra Hunijan Sports Stadium, the Cape Coast Sports Stadium, and the Babayara Sports Stadium in Kumasi. In addition to this, government has built 10 sports stadia in the 10 original regions of our country. Six of these stadia, namely Wa in Upper West, Dunkwa Onofin in Central, Axim in Western, Doma Hinkro in Bono, Ho in Volta, and Kufuria in Eastern are ready with the Kufuria Sports Stadium having been recently commissioned Federation AASSC and other partners will do everything possible to make our visitors welcome and ensure the best arrangements for planned events. 
admonished the Minister for Youth, the Ministry of, and the Minister for Youth and Sports, staff of the Ministry, and the local organizing committee to go all out and organize the best African games in history. To this end, I pledge the full commitment of government to ensure that all visitors to the country are secure, enjoy the best hospitality Ghana has to offer, and experience the greatest of African games. Accordingly, ladies and gentlemen, I have the singular honor and pleasure to declare the Baltimore Sports Facilities for the 13th African Games Accra 2023 duly commissioned. May God bless us all in our homeland Ghana and make her great and strong.